Hey, what is up? So I got a game here called Super Chillers, the chat room. This is off itch.io. Uh, this is, I believe, a prologue to the full game that will be coming out sometime in the future. Not 100% sure when, but uh, yeah, I got this. Uh, so this is a point-and-click game. So it's 2D, uh, point-and-click adventure. Uh, it's very retro, as you can see. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. There is actual voice acting in this, so I just can't wait to play because this looks really interesting to me. Hold on. It was all fun and games until death locked in. Autumn 1994. I was a baby. Video Palace. Good work today, Jessa. Yeah, thanks, Todd. Are you sure you don't need a ride home, Jessa? I I'd be happy to... Ugh, Todd, I've told you a million times. My boyfriend is picking me up. Oh, right. You still dating that jock guy? Bill? Blaine? Blake. And, yeah, we've been together for over eight months now. That long? You're so young. Are you sure? Ugh, listen, Todd, we've been through this. I'm not interested in dating you. You're, like, totally old. 20. Anyway, like we'll be here any minute, so you can go now. Wait. Bye, Todd. I feel for uh, you, Todd. Mike, where are you? It's almost time for my curfew. Maybe I should find a more reliable boyfriend. I swear to God, Blake, if you're still at home, I'm gonna. I should probably call him. There's a payphone somewhere around here. Jessa, you have a perfectly reliable person who was just there in front of you. His name was Todd. Alright, so this is point and click, so we got all of these... Uh, this is a video store, if you don't know. <laughs> we used to have these around. I have one in my, uh, my shopping mall. I'm still selling... I'm sure they're still around, but yeah, Video Palace, shop Aww, window. the Video Palace, my place of employment. I've been working here for almost a year now. The pay is decent, and I get free movie rentals. It's a win-win. So, movie rentals, yeah, I'm not going to explain that. If you don't know what it is, you should have been born earlier. Uh... So this is Nightmare Before Christmas, this is Jurassic Park, this is Pulp Fiction, this is Scarface, okay. Ah, uh, the video pal- I've been working- Okay, this is a payphone. Guess I can't go in there. This soundtrack is- the music is pretty cool, but it's kind of loud. I accidentally put it loud. I'll put it right there. Okay. I really like the aesthetic. This is bringing me back. Move over to the top of the screen to see the inventory. I need a quarter in order to make a call. Oh, there. There it is. Boop. This is my only quarter, so Blake had better pick up. Oh, hello, Mrs. Marshall. Is Blake home? He already left. Okay, thanks, Mrs. Marshall. Oh, Blake already left? Uh, so where the hell is he? What happened? Uh-oh. I can't see! Move over to the right. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Where did you come from? You scared the bejesus out of me. I think we should move, Jessa. Who are you? And why are you creeping around in the dark like that? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, look. I don't know if this is some kind of prank to freak me out or whatever, but I'm not in the mood. My boyfriend will be here any minute, so go creep elsewhere, okay? Maybe. 
Maybe I should wait inside this. I happen to know that the managers keep a spare key hidden somewhere out here. I need to find it. So yeah, uh, a bad time to be on the streets alone in the in the nineties. Had no cell phones. Well, I am not going to put my bare hands on that. Ugh, it smells awful. Well, most people didn't have cell phones, and if you did, it, the old school cell phones were, uh, yeah, there's something. I'm not sure how this, it's basically all old lady clothes. I'd never be caught dead in there. I am not going to put... Jessica, you have no choice. You're about to die. Get hands dirty or die. Your choice. Oh, he's gone. Handkerchief. Might as well take this with me. It could be evidence. Evidence of what? This is the Mini Mart. I always drop here before work for one of those sugary coffees from the machine. It's closed now. No chance of waiting in there. I need a quarter. Where would we find a thingy? The door is... Oh, can I use the uh, handkerchief to cover my hands? This handkerchief should cover my hands somewhat. Ugh, so gross! Ooh. Looks like a tight fit. Good thing I'm on that slim quick diet. Shout out to Slim Fast. Trash can, dumpster, back door. Cool. Why would anyone keep a key in the garbage? Ew, it's all sticky. It's from all that trash residue. It's gross. I am not opening that. Of course. All right, let's go. The door is locked. It fits! Finally, I can go inside. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was actually him. Promoting the newest film in the final Scream series. I've never seen any of them. Horror is not really my thing. A shelf full of fantasy movies. I've pretty much outgrown this kind of stuff. I prefer comedies. This is where all the newest movies go. They're usually the first to be rented, unsurprisingly. never understand why people enjoy horror movies. It's like getting scared on purpose. Like this one? A teenaged girl gets stalked by a mysterious hooded figure as everyone around her is killed. What is the appeal in watching something like that? Oh. The uh, Silence of the Lambs? I love comedy movies. Especially if there's romance involved. This one looks good. A boy comes back from the dead to be with the prettiest girl in school. How romantic. Todd never lets me touch this computer without his approval. But he isn't here now, is he? It feels kind of good to be bad. 
Trust me, Todd would not mind if you touched anything of his. Wait, well, let me let me try a password here. Jenna. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. He's not that obsessed. Looks like only one of them is still good. Got a glow stick? In case the lights go out, we just go. Oops, 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 oops. I only know references from my time, I'm sorry. Money. Pineapple. Okay. I don't get it, but sure. Welcome to the grossest bathroom ever. I guess it's kind of my job to keep this place clean, but... Yuck. Nirvana rules. A. Hey. It's screwed shut. It looks like the screws are a little loose. But not loose enough for me to undo the screws with my hands. I need a tool, something thin that can fit into the head of this screw. A screwdriver? The phone won't work. The cord is... Money, pineapple, I guess, smiley face, and pumpkin. Uh, do not rent list. Ralph Cadwell, 11, caught slipping a dozen tapes into a giant trench coat. Sarah Ellison, 22, has rented the vanilla ice film Cool as Ice over 60 times. Very suspicious. Mike Mitchell, 31, ruined multiple tapes, claiming he heard messages when playing the tape backwards. wrong name before okay So there's going to be lots of puzzles in this, and I'm probably going to have trouble trying to do them. So there's probably going to be a lot of skipping ahead here. I apologize. I'm not smart. Oh, another drawer. Okay. Got some loose change. The pennies appear to be glued to the bottom of the drawer. We Hope that's glue. This is that video game Todd is always playing. Might as well take it with me. Killer combat. Let's turn this thing on. Huh, guess it's broken. Maybe it needs new batteries? Ooh. Wait, what's this? A key? I'll take this. Guessing that's for the drawer? Oh yeah, it fits. 
Acid House Festival. It's a party flyer, but this party happened over six months ago. Why bother keeping this? Code is change regularly. Please see manager. Don't forget Todd. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I needed a bit of a help. I apologize. Uh, I'm not a great gamer when it comes to puzzles. So this. So there's money. There's that, which is I now realize a cactus, a smiley face, and the pumpkins. So. All of that is in this room to help us. There is a cactus. Just one, two, three. Uh, there was three pennies in here. Uh, and there's the pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the smiley faces were in here as well. One, two, three, four. So... Three. Three. Four, seven. Three, three, four, seven. Right? Not the right okay one two three Go. Let's open this door. Whoa, it's dark in here. Good thing I have this glow stick. There's a boom box. Office. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? What I said. Light switch. Please work. Please, please work. Yes. Let there be light. Woo. I don't this think I'll go back outside. Check the box of stuff. Let's see what's in here. There's so many cords in here. Who keeps a box full of random cords like this? Ah, there's a phone cord in here. Damn, this one is frayed too, but it's not quite as bad. I might be able to fix it with something. Never doubt a box of wires. Whatever's in there is something I'm you'll need. I'm not going to turn this thing on. The last thing I need is to draw attention to myself. Oh, there's a CD inside. UB40, yuck. Someone needs to get some taste for something other than red, red wine. UB40, what would that be in reference to? Alright, what else do I need to grab? The UB40 can be a clue. Or, hold on. Let's see if this works. Yes! Good thing those screws weren't that tight. 
What we got? Here? A pack of cigarettes. Obviously, someone has been using this bathroom as their own private smoking room. It's empty. A and roll, roll of tape. tape. This could be useful. All right. I think we got what we can uh, connect our wire with. Taped wire, and there we go. So if I just place this here, that should do it. Hi, my name is Jessa. I'm at the video palace, and there's some creepy guy in a hood hanging around outside. Has this person has this person threatened His you? His presence is a threat. So this person did not threaten you directly. I mean, we're the only two people on the street, Does and he, he was clearly looking at me. Tell me he's going to rob me in order to be dangerous. Man, please calm down. Are you going to send someone over here or not? We have limited resources. We must determine an actual threat before. Ugh, forget it! The authorities in this town are useless! Well, guess that's it for me. Huh? Oh. Who could be calling? Is it the police? Hello? Todd, is that you? This little joke isn't funny. Ugh, they hung up. Looks like the phone would have caller ID. There's no point. Alright, let's go. Oh. Who, who turned these on? I think I'll just turn these off. Someone will let you down today. Is it Blake? This message. It's the same as my horoscope from today. I remember it specifically because it seemed so serious. Not at all like the fluffy horoscopes in Sassy Magazine. It said, someone will let you down today. Summon your courage before someone slices through it. But who That's very specific. Here? And where are they? Okay, this is getting way too weird. Where the hell is Blake? Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> I've got to find somewhere to hide. You uh. stay back! Okay. I guess I had no ch chance to hide. Super chillers. Welcome to the third eye chat room. You're back. You were gone a long time. Yeah, sorry I had to take care of something that needed my full attention. Does the name mean phantasm? So mysterious. Anything you want to share? It's not really something I can go into detail about yet. This sounds intense. Everything okay? Let's just say it was something transformative. I had to be really focused. Fair enough, I guess I won't pry, but if you need any any help or just want to talk, I'm here. I 
I appreciate that. I might take you up on it, but for now, things are running smoothly. Cool beans. I gotta go for now. I've got a friend coming over. Talk to you soon. Good night, Nari. Nari. Super Chillers, the chat room. Thank you for playing the prologue of the first installment of the Super Chillers series. If you'd like to support development of the series, please wish us Super Chillers chat room on Steam. I will. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was short, but that's a prologue for the actual game to come. Wish listed on Steam. Honestly, I'm interested. Uh, so the these types of games I normally don't play, like these 2D point point click games. But if they're a horror, I will give it a chance, just because I think it's. Just because I like the idea of just like a 2D horror game. I've always wanted to play, uh, what's that game called? It's the one with the school and all the students in a haunted school. Corpse Party, that's what it's called. Corpse Party. I've, I've always been interested in that, but never like got around to finding the, the game or anything like that. But that's one I want to try out. Uh, but yeah, uh, 2D horror games like this and uh, the other one I played before, Tenebrous Somnia. Those had me interested, and I always used to play like uh, 2D horror flash games back in the day. They're just a lot of fun, and this just brings me back to it. But yeah, I like the aesthetic of this, uh, taking place in the 90s, the decade I grew up in. Whole bunch of nostalgia going on, hitting me right in the face, reminding me that I'm old and I'm about to die soon. I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's interesting, has, has a slasher vibe to it, like Scream, that it references. It references a whole bunch of movies in here. The thing is, they have the actual like movie posters for like example, Pulp Fiction, but she called it a different name, Plump Fiction, I think she called it. But I guess they uh, like distort the actual posters enough to where I guess it won't be it's copyright safe. But but yeah, everything looks everything looks cool. The music's good, the vibe all there. Love it, 90s. Woohoo! Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Watch out for when the actual game comes out. I don't know when, but hopefully soon because I want to play it. Uh, be cool. Stay safe. Have a good day. See you in the next video.